Hey, what's going on guys? Austin here with Everything Anything Cod, and I am back again today with another scuff video. Now this is going to be, of course, on my brand new scuff uh, impact controller. Um, the four paddles, the same controller that I have in the thumbnails, and I did the video on the unboxing. And today this is going to be a full review on this bad boy. Um, now I know I said I wouldn't be back with a full review for like a couple weeks, but I've been grinding the hell out of Call of Duty the past couple days just because I'm in love with this fucking controller, guys. It's amazing. And um, I've had enough time, I feel like, to review this controller. Um, so I'm going to give you, in this review, you know, just everything about it. How it feels, how it controls, all the new features they've added. Now I'm going to do separate videos for... You know, things on like how to use the EMR key or your trigger stops, adjusting them. Um, basically, all the features, how to take the rings off and change your thumbsticks. I'm going to do videos on all that separately um, as like little separate tutorials. So stay tuned into my channel for those videos. And if you enjoy the video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let's get right into it. <laughs> So the first thing I would like to say um, before I start this review about my SCUF controller is that I am in no way sponsored um, by SCUF themselves and they did not send me this controller for review so this is not going to be a biased review this is going to be my honest 100% opinion on the SCUF controller and if it is worth spending almost $200. Um, so that's all I have to say let's get into this review. Um, so we are going to go over a lot of things about this controller, the new features they've added, and the ergonomics of the controller, how it feels in your hands, and all that good stuff. So first thing I'm going to talk about is the ergonomics and how it feels. Now you may have seen already that this thing, um, it looks a little bit bigger than a standard PS4 controller, and it is. Um, it's six millimeters wider on the bottom here, and they made that six millimeters wider in order to accommodate for the four paddles instead of the usual two. So it looks kind of similar um, to the shape of an Xbox controller, but honestly, I was kind of worried about that when I was waiting on it to come in the mail, but it is not an issue at all. It actually it feels great when you hold it, um, especially for people with bigger hands like myself. It just feels actually more comfortable, in my opinion, than a regular PS4 controller. So let's say you were thinking about buying this. Let's say you didn't want four paddles. You don't need it. Well, if you have bigger hands such as myself, it's way more comfortable to hold in my opinion and plus you can just remove these paddles which I'll do in a separate tutorial and then you're only going to have to worry about two of them anyways so that's a really good feature they added in my opinion was the four paddles and I think it is way more comfortable to hold than a PS4, a standard PS4 controller since it is wider and I have bigger hands um, so so now the controller, the shell of the controller itself which is the, the front part of the shell this color that I chose is called, I believe, the Soft Black, um, and it's almost like a very, it is soft, definitely soft. It's almost like a velvety feel to it, um, and it, it feels really smooth and really nice. It has a nice premium grade feel to it, which I really, really like, and it just feels comfortable to hold. You pick it up, and you're like, damn, this really is a $200 controller, and I don't really mind that I spent $200 on it because it feels so nice. Um, so that goes for the front of the controller. Um, for the back, I do have the scuff grip on here, and I was expecting it to actually be a little bit different. Um, I was expecting it to be a little more grippy. When I first picked up the controller, I was like, uh, I don't really know. I thought it was going to be more grippy because it said military grade, which I don't really know if it's military grade or not. They might just say that. Um, but when you are playing uh, you know, a game with this controller, I play Black Ops 3 a lot, it actually is very, very grippy. It doesn't feel like it when you first take it out of the box but it is a very nice grip to it and it definitely keeps your hands from slipping off of it which I really like. Now for the paddles, um, I think the paddles are 100% perfect placement. And like I said guys, I know I haven't, any, I haven't said anything bad about this controller yet but I am not sponsored by Scuff and they did not send me this so don't worry, I'm just being honest. Um, and I think the paddles are in perfect location. Um, now, I haven't got to hold the Infinity 4 PS Pro yet. Um, my fiance has one coming in the mail, so I'll do an unboxing and a review on that as well. But I was used to using before this, if you haven't seen my channel, the PS4 Strike Pack Dominator, which if you guys don't know what that is, go back and check in my channel. Uh, I did a review on that and uh, in-depth tutorial. In-depth tutorial. Jeez, I can't speak. Um, 
And basically, that is almost a $40 scuff. Now, it's not a separate controller. It's an attachment that plugs into your USB port, and it is wired only. But it does have two paddles. Um, they, they come right around here at the bottom. I had to edit in a new little clip, guys, for the uh, strike pack I was trying to show you earlier. I kind of cut it off in the camera. I was holding it way too high. So just to show you, here's where the paddles are on the strike pack, right down here in the bottom. Hopefully you guys can see that and compared to the paddles being straight down on the scuff controller. For me, I like the paddles on this better. Now this is my very first scuff controller. I've never had one before, but these feel way more natural for me to hold um, or click in, I should say, and use. You would think that this might feel a little more natural just because your your fingers rest right here and where they click in, that's all, it feels like a natural position. But then when I picked up the scuff controller, I've just been using it for six months, you know, a long time, so I thought that felt natural. Literally, as soon as I got this out of the box, I'm not even kidding, I put my hands like this and I was like, wow, that is a world of difference. Um, it feels way more natural to hold your fingers and rest them right here as you play. Um, and that's why I think the paddles on this feel a lot better. But this definitely is a really good alternative. This is only $40. Um, like I said, go check out my channel if you want to find where to buy it at. They are remappable, and if you don't want to spend $200 on a controller, it is a very, very good alternative. The only thing bad I have to say about the Strike Pack, um, and I am sponsored by them, but I will still be honest with you guys, it does have, after a couple months, a lot of connectivity issues, and it is wired only. That's why I wanted to get a scuff controller, because I was tired of being wired, and when you're in the middle of a match, um, and that thing disconnects, it is a pain in the ass to, to reconnect and all that shit, especially if you're using a headset. Um, it's way more complicated. I'm not going to get into all that. But that's why I wanted a scuff. Um, and speaking of wireless and wired, um, you know, scuff has had a lot of problems in the past with their Bluetooth lag and that kind of thing. And they said they fixed it for the new scuff impact and the Infinity 4PS Pro. And I can definitely vouch for that because I've been using a wireless connection almost the whole time I've had this scuff. Um, for testing purposes and for this tutorial or this uh, video review and I can say that there is absolutely no input lag. I have experienced none myself and of course if you go to a wired connection you'll see a little or you feel a little bit of a difference but I have experienced none myself and I really really like that they fix that feature. Um, it's a great thing to be able to go to a wireless controller especially if you're used to playing wired all the time um, and for long-term scuff um, buyers that is going to definitely be a plus for you if, especially if you're a casual player um, and you didn't want to be hardwired anymore you can now have Bluetooth comfortably another new feature that they added to the scuff is going to be the cable retention system let me see hopefully the cam ca camera will focus in this little lip right here this plastic lip that is where you input your uh, your um, your charging cable there we go and what that lip does is um, it, instead of your USB cable just kind of hanging down, you know, it kind of pulls on it all the time when it's plugged in, it's just hanging down. What this does, it extends it a little bit and gives it a little bit more leverage, and it extends the life of your USB connector um, on your USB cord itself and also in your controller because it doesn't hang down and tug on it as much, which is another nice feature. Now that is just on the Scuf Impact controller that is not on the Infinity 4PS Pro, so just be wary of that when you're buying one at checkout. Um, and obviously another wonderful feature they added, which I mentioned earlier, was the removable paddles, which I will get to in another video. Um, they did add the removable paddles, so like I was saying, if you have big hands like me and you would like a little bit wider of a controller, but you don't want to use all four paddles, you say, no, that's not necessary, that's not a problem, because these will just slide right out. Um, the two inner ones are the two outer ones, which either you prefer, and you can just get rid of them, you don't even have to use them. So that is an awesome, awesome feature. Um, and I believe for now, guys, you also, I mean, you have your standard features that they've had before. The rings you can take off and remove your thumbsticks. Those are my control freaks if you're wondering. Um, they still have all that, all the original features as well as a couple new things they added like the paddles and the retention system and the wireless feature they fixed. But that is going to cover it for this product review, guys. Real quick, let me say, is it worth buying? That is a big, big question. Um, it depends really how hardcore of a gamer you are. Now, I'm a hardcore Call of Duty player. Um, I play competitive and just pubs. Um, so for me, it's definitely worth buying, especially going from something that has connectivity issues all the time. And I don't want to go back to playing Claw like I used to or using Bumper Jumper with one of these buttons up here. 
and I would like to stick with my paddles because that's what I've been used to for the past few months. For me, it's worth buying. Um, and even for myself, it was a lot of money to spend. This is almost a $200 controller. Now, I did use Hollow Point's uh, discount code, which took $10 off the controller. Um, but still, the total came to like $180, and it is a lot of money to dish out just for a controller, not even including, you know, you, you still have to buy the new Call of Duty when it comes out or whatever you may play. $200 for a controller, that's like three games. So, you know, it, it just depends on if you think it's going to be worth it or not. I think it is worth buying. I love having paddles, um, and they're extremely, extremely comfortable. And this, like I said, this controller just has such a premium feel to it that you might say, oh man, that just made a huge dent in my bank account. But when you get this thing out of the box, it is just, you're going to have, it's such a premium, nice feel to this controller that you're going to instantly forget all about that money you just spent on that thing. So guys, I really, really and hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned into my channel for the tutorials on the paddles and taking your lock rings off and all that good stuff. We'll get into that in more videos. So please give me that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. I will always bring you all more content. And thank you for watching. I will see you next time.